I think people think of wreaths and think of traditional wreaths when you'd visit your aunt's house and it was just another decoration that cluttered a house and it's just not necessarily what they are anymore. There are so many different kinds of wreaths and I think putting a wreath on your front door of your house says something about your personality. I like to combine different colors that stand out. You know, so I kind of think about the colors, put the colors together, and then put them as I go. We make holiday wreaths. <laughs> and every year we try to do something different, something fresh. But you're only limited by your imagination. You can make a wreath out of just about anything. You can use shells, you can use sticks, you can use candy. Pine cones and acorns and all kinds of things you find in nature. Ribbon, I love ribbon. Um, I like to hang the wreath on a ribbon. Paper wreaths and rolled flowered paper wreaths. I don't think there are any rules to making wreaths as long as you hang it on your door. <laughs> That's the only thing you need to worry about. The history of the wreath? I don't know the history of the wreath. There actually is a history. Um, back in the early days of the Olympics, they used them to put on the victors of the, of the Olympics. A laurel wreath, actually, it was. And if you go back even further, they wore them on their heads to show status, to show wealth. It was kind of a manly thing, even. I don't know that anyone knows how they ended up on hanging on doors, but um, they were used in a way to welcome people into the town and to also, instead of house numbers, people had different wreaths on their doors and that's how you identified homes. Instead of a number, they would have, everyone had a different wreath. This is my handmade paper flower wreath. It uses 350 corks. They're the first thing you see when you walk into someone's house. They're like the first impression, and I think that is why I love wreaths so much. To me, a house without a wreath is sort of like going out in the winter without a coat. You know, it's uncovered, it's not finished. Every time I show someone a wreath, they, it, it's like lights up their face. I also think it makes you feel welcome when you come into your home. Your home should be like your sanctuary where you love to be and you should want to go there. One way to just kind of share a bit of your life with the world.